Okay, so I'm trying to angle the camera right. Sorry if you can't see me. If you can't see, me. if you can, great. Because I try to do this on my laptop, but fortunately the stupid ass Acer don't want to work. Don't want to connect. You see what the fuck I go through? Look, do you see that? Can you see that? Something went wrong. Try to reconnect. And I've been clicking the damn button ten fucking times and it won't work. And we've been going through this for 21 goddamn minutes. See, now the shit wanna work. Man, fuck my life. Anyways, basically this tag was supposed is let me turn the camera around. Damn it. The tag was supposed to be about um my friend Melanie wanted me to do a sh shit I don't like type tag. And y'all know I talk a lot. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty freaking long. So let's get into it. Number one, Acer. Fucking hate your ass. I hate your company. I hate it. Only because of my laptop. Only because of my laptop. You guys see I got AC like like I just showed y'all right here. See? Now it says that the webcams will be working, but why is the screen black? Do y'all know? Because I sure enough hell don't know. <laughs> but um number two is it um has to do it in in the mall. Um, first is the type of situation, you know, when you're in the mall, you're walking, everybody's walking fast-paced or whatever because it's busy, nobody wants to be in the mall all damn day. Now, you know, you're walking straight, and you have the other person who's walking in the opposite direction of you, and they want to stop. Now, for some odd reason, when I'm in this situation, it's always with pregnant bitches. I don't know why. But it's always with a pregnant person. Either you're pregnant with the belly, you're pregnant, you got the stroller. Either way, you got kids and it's always happening to me. I don't know why. I don't know. But my friends call me rude because I don't move. For nobody. Not unless you elderly or you in a wheelchair or I see something wrong that you can't walk that well. That's the only reason I'm going to move for you. I don't see pregnant as being an excuse for nothing. Okay? Um... Like, my friends will pull me to the side and be like, Ashley, you bugging. Won't you out the way? What the fuck? I know that stroller and her feet can move around me. So why the fuck am I moving? Why am I being the one to move? I don't like that shit. Hate it. Secondly is when you got your kids running around the mall because they ain't got no discipline outside the household. They ain't got no manners. I, like, when I was working at Charlotte Crap, okay? Yes, I said crap. It's Charlotte Roos. Mm. Um... And I had kids running around the store and taking things off the racks, pulling things off the racks, knocking stuff over, bonging over the shoes and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like I said, I really got mad and clocked out. Dead serious. I clocked out because I was pissed off and I was about to cuss out somebody's kids. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to take this. Yeah, I have to understand. I'm clocking out. Can't do it. Not doing it. Eh, nope. Me going to break ain't going to happen. Nope. As long as I'm in this damn building, it eh, no going to work. Not going to work. Can't do it. Mm -mm. So, eh, left. You know what I mean? Um, that brings me into another thing I don't like is, <sighs> put this right, is big people who wear tight shit. Now, y'all see that I'm a big girl, but there's also people that are bigger than me and people the same size as me that like to wear shit that don't fit. Now, I've seen this girl outside on a bus when I was on a bus. She um she had like she had uh, her shirts were layered, okay? Now, I don't see how you wear one shirt is already tight, so what makes you think the second one is going to be a lot more looser than the, than the first? shirt that you had. If the first shirt is tugged on your rolls and shit, you shouldn't put on a second shirt thinking that shit is going to work. You're just going to look tight as hell with two shirts on. I don't see why big girls like to do that. So, back to Charlotte Crap, there was a situation when this girl, this big girl, who wanted to try on some clothes. And I told her, oh, you like that shirt? There's a store across the food court named Lane Bryant. You should go there. And she's like, what the hell are you trying to call? Are you trying to say I'm not that fat? It's like me looking at myself in the mirror telling me I'm not fat. You know what I mean? Like, it just... I hate that shit. Like, ugh, why are you so rude? I'm trying to give you a compliment and shit. Like, I don't know. Is it the way I came at her about it? I, I don't know. Because... At that time, that's when Charlotte Roos, they only, it was very rare we had extra larges. I can't fit no extra large. I knew she couldn't fit no damn extra large. So, 
And I think the jeans stopped at 13. I think now it's 15. I'm not sure. Yeah, don't care really. But I was, you know, just telling her, you know, you, they have the same shirt just like that. I, I guess it's the way I said it. She caught an attitude because all the rest of these girls got mad and pissed off and said I was dumb as hell for telling them that. I don't know. Mm, whatever. Um, another thing is when some, I understand, you know, how older people, they say, oh, I've been through this, I've lived longer than you, and, you know, shit like that. But don't ever tell me that, you know, I don't know how it feels to go through a certain situation. That I'm too young to understand what's going on. I can comprehend a lot of shit. As long as you tell me. A and B and you know I can get to C and D on my own. You know what I mean? Like I don't need you. But don't tell me what I've been through. What I haven't been through. How to deal with something that I've already been through. You know like you don't know my story. So you can't tell me how the fuck to feel here. What the hell to do there. And so and so. I don't like shit like that. I hate it. I hate people that try to tell my life. You don't live it, don't talk about it. Um, the type of people who have kids and feel like, you know, I'm going to still have my young life and party all the fucking time. Let me, is my thing still recording? I move my hand. Okay. There's a lot of people that are my age, 24 and younger, that still have that mentality that, oh, I have a kid, I'm going to still have to go out to party. No. You... No, that's just, I guess it's just how I think. You know, I've been, helped raise my nephew since I was like, not even 13 years old. So I know how it feels, you know, to want to have a break. But, you know, that's me want to break to have a damn, ch you know, childhood and shit like that. Well, I shouldn't say childhood, but, you know, be a teen, you know. So I had to have a big ass mentality being younger. So, when I see kids that are younger than me, say, like, going out partying every damn weekend, and I see it on Facebook and everything, I'm like, the fuck are you doing? Like, you already had a kid. Shouldn't your kid be your top priority right now? Your kid? Okay, I understand you don't have no kids. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. But once you have a kid, eh, that's done. No more partying for you. That, that, that. I understand you want to have time to yourself. Okay, I understand that. But the type of people that put their kids on other people... Like, they're always around other people instead of you being the parent, your grandparents or your friend or your parents actually the parent of the child all over again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like shit like that. I, you have kids being raised by other people instead of you stepping up and being a parent. Hate shit like that. Hate it. I see it. I know people that do it. So it's... And I tell them all the time, I hate that shit. Stop doing it. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> Period. Grow up. I understand you want to, you know, have your your time to yourself. But damn it, don't do it all the fucking time. Don't. Okay? Because it, 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 it gets complicated. <sighs> I don't remember my list, y'all. I really don't. I put it on my cell phone. And since my laptop wants to be an asshole, don't want to work. I gotta do it on my damn cell phone where I wrote all my shit on. <laughs> so now I got ribbon shit that I don't like. Because I don't want to ramble and ramble for like trying to, you know, think of shit. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, the other type of shit I don't like is like people that put the shopping carts in the parking spot. I'm not a driver, I'm a passenger. But I hate getting out the car just to move a fucking shopping cart that your lazy ass could have just put in the damn cart. Put it, you know, put where the carts are. I understand, okay, if the, if the cart thing is all the way, like, three parking lots down, okay, put it over somewhere. Put it over by the store. Don't put it directly in a parking spot where people have to get the fuck out their car just to, you know, move the fucking cart that your ass didn't want to fucking move. You know what I mean? <clears throat> or the type of people that the cart... The cart be right where the carts are. It be right next to your car. And you just put it over on the other side. Because you don't feel like walking around your car. To put it in the carts. I hate that shit. I hate it. I hate my bus line. <laughs> I need to drive. But I hate my bus line. Why do I hate my bus line? Because anybody that lives 
in New York and Long Island, whoever knows the N22 bus route knows that that shit is ridiculous. Out of all the fucking buses that they have, that bus, is my thing still correct? Okay, that bus is ridiculous. There's no fucking way. This year, I think it was this year or last year, they started to have three N22s. Well, sorry, now it's four. How the fuck are all three late? Well, there's only four that go down the main road that I'm on. But still, how the fuck is three buses late? I don't understand that shit. It makes no fucking sense to me. I understand it's like a 15 minute or 20 minute gap. But damn it. How the fuck are all three of y'all late? I hate waiting for the bus sometimes. Especially when it be cold outside. I hate it. Like, if it really? And you late? And you had the nerve to be crowded? Oh, then the type of buses that be crowded as hell, knowing that they're over capacity, and then they still picking up people. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. It's, I guess it's New York. I hate it. Hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I was on a bus one day, and they had uh, the bus driver was like mad crowded. Me and my nephew, like, oh, because the people were trying to get down in the aisle, like pushing and shoving and shit, trying to get on the bus. And then they have the bus driver has the opportunity to put in that damn scroll bar that says next bus, please. Fuck it. There was a whole line waiting for this damn N22 bus. And this bus driver let every single one get on this damn bus. If there 